Hey everybody, it's Jay Photo Retouching, and the tutorial I'm about to do is highly, highly, highly requested. I don't know how many times uh, this tutorial has been requested since you guys have seen me do it in my videos, but this tutorial is going to be on how to make hair longer and fuller in GIMP. So, um, you guys may have seen other videos on this, but my way is totally different. I haven't seen any videos yet on YouTube that does the same way as I do, but I find this way a lot easier and it looks the best if you ask me. So if you guys just follow along, you guys will be able to get it. It's a little tricky at first, but you guys will get the hang of it. So um, first off, I'm just going to zoom in. And you can tell her hair is really short, like, you know, a little bit past her shoulders. So I'm going to first start off with the Rectangle Select Tool. And it's right here up in the left-hand corner of the toolbox. I'm just going to select around, um, you know, the hair that I want to make longer. So this is the right side of her hair. Just going to make the toolbox, you know, just right around the hair. And then once you let go, it's going to drop down and it's going to kind of make this little fuzzy thing around. You right click inside the toolbox, edit, copy visible. Again, you're going to right click inside the toolbox, edit, and then paste. After you do that, you're going to go to this tool right here, the scale tool, and I think it's the fourth one down to the right on the toolbox. You're just going to click it, and you're going to drag the hair down to as long as you want it. I think I like it about right there. And once you have it where you want it, you're going to click Scale, and it's just going to make it, you know, where you put it. And as you can see, it only didn't move just the hair, but everything else. So easy way to clear this up. You're going to go to the eraser tool and make sure that it's on a fuzzy brush, which I already have it on. And just kind of, you know, race around the layer to make it look natural. And do, do, do. almost done. And there you go. And then, again, if you want it a little longer, which I'm thinking I want a little longer, just, you know, redo the scale tool and drag it down. A scale and then continue to touch up the size with the eraser tool. So I think that was pretty simple. After that, you're just going to get rid of, uh, rid of what you have selected. Just, you know, voila. It's a lot longer. So then you're just going to repeat the same step to the other side. And um, use rectangle select tool select around the hair that you want longer, repeat um, the last process, right click inside the box, edit, copy visible, and again you're going to right click inside the box, edit, and paste. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use the scale tool again, which is again the fourth one um, on the bottom to the right. So then you're just going to drag down like this. Oops right there. Then you're going to press scale. Again, what you're going to do is you're going to use this eraser tool and you're going to erase, you know, around where the skin and stuff followed with the hair selection. Once you're satisfied, undo the selection. Oops. And just going to make a few touch-ups. And there. There you go. It's a lot longer. So you guys also wanted to know how to make it fuller. Well, you just do the same thing and I'm going to show you. You can use the rectangles tool. I'm going to select where you want it to be fuller, give a body, etc. Right click inside, edit, copy visible, edit, paste. Same thing. You're just going to use the scale tool. Instead of pulling it down, you're going to pull it to the side like so. Scale when you're satisfied, and then just go again with the eraser tool, like so, and erase. And there, that's how to make it fuller. I'm going to do the same to the other side. So, I don't know if the other side may need a little more body, whatever. So, you're going to select again, edit. Copy visible, right click, edit, and paste. 
Gonna do the same thing. Scales will bring it out. Make it a little bit longer again. Bring it out. Continue to bring it out. This can work on, you know, if you're trying to do a scene edit, you can make it, you know, poofy and stuff. So scale, and then gonna use the eraser tool to fix up. And there you go. So I just simply made it longer and fuller. So yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you. And if you want anything else, comment with questions. Tutorial to do. Thanks, guys.